everyone i just wanted to come on and share with you a small a few bits and pieces that i picked up from the range it's not a lot um there was one thing in particular that i went in for and i'll show you but i'm mm, a wee bit unsure about it you might have to give me some advice first thing i picked up was some tacky glue um i have been needing this so picked this up i think it's is it 1.99 or 2.49 but this is really the only glue i use i swear by it so i got that then i got um the little book hunky dory little book i got this one the garden treasures because it matches a lot of the journals that are, i've been making and things and i liked it because it's it's not coated so we can put our, like our vintage um photo distress inks and things on it Let's just try that Yeah, so it takes to it really well, so you can vintage them up, tatter them up a bit, add all your inks, add on your sprays and stuff. So I like that, so pick them up. These are £7.99 from the range, yeah, so they're about £2 cheaper than what you can usually buy them for. So you get that one, as always you get 144 pages, 24 different designs. That one with the beautiful birds on, you get this one. I just thought the designs in this pad, I haven't bought one of these for ages, but I thought the designs in this one were really nice. That one, you get that one. And the wee blue tits, they're featured in quite a lot of the papers. It's pretty though, eh? I thought it was really nice. See, there's the again. That one, like the bees. And you can cut them out because you get so many images. You can cut them out and decoupage them. I like these for making journaling cards because they're just ready made. All you have to do is a wee you can I mean you could do nothing to them. Or you could add on your coffee dyed paper on the back and make them into journaling cards. Or use your sewing machine, sew some card onto the back. And these nice colours though. So even though they might not be like some of them look quite vintagey, but like I said, you can vintage them right up. That one, this one, that one, and there's a lot of white space on some of them as well, so it'd be nice so you could stamp a sentiment. And that one, so it would be birds and stuff in it. So that's that. I picked up one of these Dovecraft um, ink pads. Now, I've not had one of these before. I have had Dovecraft, I think, in the past, the smaller ones. But I wanted a brown, and this is the Coco Brown. I think this was $1.99, either $1.49 or $1.99. So, let me just grab a quick stamp, anyone. Take this one. And stamp it up. And see what the ink's like. Yep, pretty cool actually. It's true to colour. Yeah, actually stamps really clearly and really well. And you can boss with these as well. These stamps. Look how juicy they are. I know the stamps, sorry, the ink pads. So I picked up that one. I might pick up more of them because in colours that I don't have in inks. So that was pretty good a value. Um, I picked up this. This was not This isn't really crafty, but I'll show you anyway. It's the Loctite Super Glue, and I actually got it because one of my boots, the heel's coming away, and it does say on the front. There's a wee picture of a shoe there, and a picture of somebody's heel coming off on the back. Um, water resistant, dishwasher resistant, shock resistant, blah blah blah, all these things. Strong, reliable bond. This was like three ninety nine, I think. Um, so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get it and see. It's not a very big bottle. But I'll let you know how I got on with that. So I got that. And the last thing that I got, and this is what, oh no, in fact, wait two seconds. I've actually got these three things as well. Um, I watch Wendy Loves Crafting. She's got an amazing channel and she also buys beautiful, beautiful trims from the range. Um, amongst other places. So when I seen this one, I thought this was really nice. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like wee gold tinges in it. 
I just thought that was nice for edging things and adding to tags and things like that. Uh, these are only a pound for two metres, so I've got that one. Then I was quite intrigued by these. These are, it said, self-adhesive craft ribbon. These were a pound as well, two metres. So let's see how sticky they are. Right, so it comes with a sticky on the back, which is quite good. Let's see how easy it is to get the back off. Yep, quite easy, coming off already. Not the easiest with these nails on right now. But I just want to see and show you how sticky it is. Because I have had sticky stuff in the past and it's not been very sticky. Oh no, that is sticky. That will stick to paper and card, no bother. So I got that one, as I said, two metres for a pound. You get, I got the pink and then I got this sort of beautiful burgundy one so i'll give them a try and see what they're like and then this is what i went in for these i had seen them online um and i thought you know what i'm going to give them a try it's the deco mash there's a by first edition and they are the crackle paint or, or paste whatever you call it so it's you get the anti crackle base coat and you get the top coat now it says you've got to put two coats on and let them dry in between each coat. So I did. Um, you've got to put one coat going one way and the other one going the other way. So one vertically, one horizontally and let them dry in between each coat. So I have been messing a bit with this. Um, that one's almost completely dry. And what it said you were to do was put the base coat on first, like I said, in the two ways, and then let it dry. And then put your your one coat going one way and one coat going another way, let them dry in between of the top coat. And then it said you can put some paint over the top. Well, I did that, and it didn't seem to want to crackle. So what I've done, I don't know if you can see, I have seen some crackle paste on the TV that crackle really fast. I tried doing it with... Um, the heat gun but it didn't work it just kind of bubbled and then fell off you can see it is starting to crackle it does say on the on the like the this one the base it's really thin it's like milk and it stinks use a if you're going to use it guys really do it in a well ventilated room and then this one is really really thick like a gel so, and it says the more top coat you put on, the thicker the coat, the more it'll crackle. So what I've done with this one is just put on some acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, just just normal acrylic paint. I let that dry. Then I put two coats of the base coat, um, obviously let them dry in between, and then I put one coat of the top coat and one top one coat at the bottom, eh, one, two coats at the top coat, but let them dry in between. And this is what I got. So I am going to play a bit with it, but let me know, guys, if you've got any tips about this, um, or if there's a brand that you recommend. But I do like it, but I just thought it would be more crackly. I think I might add another coat and let it dry and see what happens. But yeah, that's my little um, haul. I just really wanted to come on and ask you guys if you had used this. These were four ninety nine dollars each. Um, you do get tons in the pot. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of these and if you've used them before or like I say, if you've used any other brands that you think are better that I could um, take a look at. Thank you as always for watching guys. Please hit me a big thumbs up, talk to me in the comments and I will see you all again soon. Bye bye.